Hello, good morning. So this is your EAP quarter one module two. Structure the text structures. Actually, EAP is one of the hardest subjects na may encounter niyo during the senior high school, kasi it focuses on writing and of course understanding of a text. Sige, let's start. In our module 2, we still have, meron pa rin tayong what I know. Ayan. Aanseran nyo pa rin yan. And then, you, later on, i-check ninyo kasi nasa dulo naman din ng module yung answer. Then, what's in? Dyan. Basahin ninyo. Activities din yan. Ayun. What's new? Yan. And... Sa mga module natin, kung saan nakalagay yung pinaka-lesson talaga natin is itong part ng what is it. Ito talaga yung pinaka-lesson natin. So, in our module 2, our lesson is about the text structure. What does it mean by text structure? Ito lang, simply. Text structure is how information in a text is organized. Being able to identify the structure of the text can greatly increase students' comprehension of the materials being read. In short, kapag sinabi natin text structure, ito yung itsura ng, ng mga words ba? Katulad ito, ano ang structure? Paano niya gidefine yung word na text structure? So this is an example of text structure. Paano mo gikompose yung gusto mong sabihin? That is what you call text structure. Katulad example, meron kang kwentong gagawin about kwento sa isang bata na gustong mamasyal pero ayaw so paano mo ikukwento that is what you call text structure example gagamitan mo ba siya ng, ng patula or whatever so that is an example of text structure so here in our lesson i-introduce natin sa inyo na meron daw iba't ibang uri ng text structure the first one is the what we call compare and contrast structure or compare contrast and structure and structure so this type usually is hinahanap yung similarities and difference between two or more people concept ideas and events so meron tayo dyan example eto yung example natin basahin ninyo yan so basically kung ang format naman ng Compare contrast structure, ganito ang itsura niya. Sa example, you are going to compare, gagawa ka ng essay. Example, gagawa ka ng essay. And then, compare mo ang Apple at saka ang Google. Ganyan. So, una, you are going to find the difference of the two. Tingnan mo, ito. Diba, first paragraph, i-mention mo muna lahat ng meron sa Apple. Second paragraph, lahat ng meron nasa Google. Pagdating ng contrast, i or i-co-compare mo na siya pagdating sa third paragraph. Ganun yung compare and contrast structure. Again, anong structure na ito? You are going to compare two items and i-contrast. Aalamin ninyo ang pinagkaibahan at pagka pareho ng dalawa. Ganun siya. Yun yung unang text structure. Kapag gumawa tayo ng essay, pwede nyo yung siyang gamitin. Another naman type of text structure is the what we call cause and effect structure. Ito naman, example, merong mga tanong sa essay ninyo na about asking for gusto nang ipaliwanag kung ano yung mga dahilan at naging epekto. Ang gagamitin ninyo structure is cause and effect. Meron tayo dyan example, basahin ninyo. And here in our diagram, tingnan ninyo. Example, ang cause daw, ang ang, ang paragraph kasi dito is about daw sa pagiging ano, And ba, ang cost natin is ang pagiging brown ng lahi natin, pagiging kanyumanggit natin. So, ano ang magiging epekto nito? So, this mean and measure judging beauty. Parang ganun ba? So, in short, ang structure ng cost and effect, it's either sasabihin mo muna yung cost, mga naging dahilan, at mga naging epekto. Understood? So, Pwede na ito when you are going to answer essay. Example, tinanong sa inyo. What is the effect of drugs in our country? So, you can use cause and effect structure para maganda. Yun. Again ha, kung gusto mong sasabihin or kung gusto mong 
itel or sasabihin niya kung gusto mong i-share ang dahilan at ang epekto ang cause and effect structure ang gagamitin mo pero kung gusto mo na mag-compare at alamin ang pagkaiba at pagkakapareho compare and contrast structure ang <coughs> sorry structure ang gagamitin mo ganon Okay, our third structure is the sequence structure. Ano naman itong sequence structure na ito? From the word sequence, meaning yung pagkakasunod-sunod. So, example, your, is, your essay is about, ano? Example, your essay is about how to cook, how to cook sandwich. So, you can use sequence structure. So, meron tayo ditong simple yan. Example, in the first paragraph, how to choose your ingredients, ganyan. Or the second paragraph, how to slice. The third paragraph, how to prepare. So that is what you call sequence structure. Yung pagkakasunod-sunod of ideas or structure. Ganyan siya. Pwede siya. Okay? And the fourth structure of a text is the what we call descriptive structure. Ano naman itong descriptive structure? Sa descriptive structure naman is from the word describe describe you are going to describe something example ang tanong sa iyo ang tanong dito sa iyo is iyak tayo bawa ang tanong dito sa iyo is ano eto who is galileo so kapag example kapag <laughs> okay so dito here in our descriptive structure when you are tasked when you are asked to describe something or someone ang structure na gagamitin ninyo sa text is ang descriptive structure yan lang kasimple yan ang example natin hmm. another kapag ang essay nyo naman or ang task sa inyo is you are going to make a study or an essay about the problem and a solution Problem solution naman ang gagamitin ninyo. So, meron din tayo dyang example. That is very easy lang naman to understand eh. Okay. Oh, katulad yan, the problem and the solution. Pag ginawa mo yan sa essay, pwedeng gawin mo na ang problem first paragraph, solution second paragraph, ganun. And here is our last sex structure. We have the answer structure. Question answer structure. Ito yung basically binibigay sa atin during my essay tayo sa exam. A simple question and then the answer. So, ito yung example niya. Yan. Example dito is, example, ang tanong lang natin is why do we have why do we have schools? So, if you have three answers Pwede yung first paragraph, ang first answer mo, second paragraph, third paragraph, isa-isang answer mo. So, those are, eh, or ito ang pinakalas natin na text structure. Again, what are text structure na sinasabi natin? Ito yung way, or these are the forms on how you are going to introduce or tell your thoughts, or kung paano mo sasabihin yung mga gusto mong sabihin through writing. Understood. So, kapag nagsusulat tayo ng paragraphs ng essay, text structures ang gagamitin natin para maganda at mas maintindihan ng ating reader yung ating sinusulat. Usually, ginagamit natin ito as you, you as students, pwede nyo itong gamitin during answering an essay. Ganon. So, we have here what's more. Ano itong what's more na part? Itong what's more na part lang is very simple. Padagdag ito para kung maintindihan nyo pa ba yung lesson or not. And then, yan, read to find out. You can answer that and keep it. And of course, what I have learned, pwede nyo itong itry. Ites sagutan ang answer key natin na sa dulo. And this is one of the thing na kailangan na nyo pasa for the module 2. The structure your essay. So, you are going to make your own essay na, ha? And, here it is. The last one. Eto, meron din tayo ditong mga assessment. Sa assessment, i-keep nyo lang muna yung mga sagot ninyo dyan. And here, activity 7. Ito yung required na gagawin ninyo. Okay? 
magpo-post lang ang teacher niyo kung saan niyo isasubmit yung yung vlog na nagawa niyo. Okay, may tanong tayo. If you have your question, comment below. And balikan muna natin itong kuan. Academic text. Baka hindi pa na gets masyado. Yung academic text na sinasabi natin, these are the words na ginagamit natin sa schools. Kasi, di ba, napapansin ninyo, iba naman yung mga salita na ginagamit natin at home. Iba yung mga salita na ginagamit natin with our friends. So, when you say academic text, these are the words na gagamitin natin inside the school. So, example, kapag yums ka, iba ang mga words na gagamitin ninyo. Kapag stem ka, iba din ang mga words na gagamitin ninyo. Or ibang English din ang gagamitin ninyo. So, meron nga tayo dito yung example sa page 9, o. Oh. Mm. From the autopsy surgeon report. So, here, siguro, the text here, ang mga words dito na ginamit is para sa mga medical students or pwede ito sa mga STEM. They will understand it. Ganun ang academic text natin. Kung ano ang course mo or ano ang strand mo, iba yung mga lessons, iba yung mga words na ginagamit ninyo. Para sasabihin na rin nating jargons. Ganun ba? We have different words na gagamitin para sa bawat isa. So, I guess that is our module 2 for the EAP. Sana meron pang module 3. So, saying goodbye!